Okay, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use barcodes with your Xero software uh, to help better manage your inventory um, uh, for checking, you know, uh, new items into stock and taking them out of stock using invoices. Um, as you've probably seen in other, other videos, um, the best way to remove inventory from your Xero inventory would be to, when you invoice a customer for a particular item, then what that's going to do is it's going to like decrease your inventory by the quantity that's on that invoice. So that's kind of how you keep good control uh, of the inventory. Now, what we're going to show you is a way that you can use a barcode scanner to scan and make invoices uh, so that you can uh, more easily um, check things and take things out of stock using barcodes. Uh, so kind of the workflow here is um, in zero, you can receive stock in using bills, okay? Um, and as you receive inventory in and create a bill for something, then it increases the quantity on hand by one when you receive the bill in. Um, now, uh, invoices are for taking the stock out of inventory. And then for an individual item, you can do an inventory adjustment and just you know, raw, change the value of how much you have on hand. Um, but it's best to kind of have that be the result of your transactions and in the regular course of doing business, right? So, um, but what we're also going to show you here is how you can use a uh, label connector for zero uh, to generate your barcodes uh, to put on the items to, to take them, you know, when you go to invoice the item, then you can scan this barcode into the invoice and accurately take out the correct item and remove the inventory. So uh, so let's just start with kind of uh, going ahead and printing a label. You can see here I've got the label printer on my camera here so you can watch the labels as I'm producing them. Uh, but basically in Label Connector you can use a purchase order to print labels. Uh, you can use your list of products and services and you can also uh, use invoices, but if you want to get things labeled early in your process, when you make a purchase order uh, to your vendor, you could use that um, purchase order, which I've shown here, um, and just get the data for that purchase order, pull it in here, uh, and I'm just going to uh, print one each of this so you can just see it in action. It's going to print over here on my printer. So we've printed a, a barcode label for that item using your zero data, um, which is handy then for just kind of getting rapidly producing barcode labels from your zero data. Now, once you have the, those values, those barcodes on all of your items, then when you go into the invoice screen, you can then scan out that um, product. So let's just go ahead and just do that. So if I just put highlight into this box, and I take my barcode scanner. I'm using kind of an old school scanner so you can actually see the laser uh, kind of scanning it. You can see it, it brought it into the zero invoice here and all I got to do is just press enter and it adds it to the invoice. So uh, if I go ahead and just, we had uh, 13 of these on hand. Um, if we just go ahead and approve and process that invoice, you know, we'll just uh, Go ahead and just send that invoice out. We can then uh, get that stock taken out of stock using the invoice, uh, scanning barcodes into the invoice. Uh, now, to generate the barcodes uh, to begin with, you can you could have just as easily used um, our feature for just grabbing all your products and services this way, and just that same item. I'm just testing with that. We could print a label and you'll see that come out here on the thermal printer. So we produced essentially the same label um, with that barcode information on there for the, in this case we're barcoding the code value in zero onto the label. Let's see if I can get in on that for you a little closer there so you can see we've barcoded that, the code value for the item in zero. So. Um, so we're taking that out of stock using an invoice to remove it from stock once you get that item, that uh, label placed on the material. Um, 
what we will be adding as well is to be able to use bills uh, to print labels and we should have that done in the next few days here because bills are a great way to um, kind of like that's how you increase your amount on hand is you use a bill um, and then you could then use the reference number for that bill um, to print labels and then uh, as soon as things come in the door you'll be able to print labels that way so we will be adding support for bills shortly um, so you can use invoices, the list of products, you can use your purchase order that you sent to the vendor to produce a label um, and then you can use the barcode scanner you know to scan the barcodes in this case I I barcoded the actual um, code value from zero into the barcode. And the nice thing about using the code value, uh, let me just get into this a little bit here. Uh, if you look at your list of products and services here, um, the code value might tend to be like a, a smaller value that we can barcode more easily because it's, it's shorter in length. It's not as descriptive as the name. Now we could also barcode the name here, but that would make a lengthy barcode. We could use our QR code or data matrix feature and barcode that as well. But if you have any questions, uh, you can get a hold of us. We'll have our contact information down in the description of the video. So again, what we're showing you kind of end to end is you can make use of label connector for zero uh, to produce barcodes, label all your items using that valuable farming that good zero data that you've already been working hard to put in the system and then you can scan those into your invoices to basically decrement your inventory um, and take it out of stock. I hope this helps. Uh, reach out to us anytime. Uh, contact information is down. In